Now that The Walking Dead is over and The Last of Us is coming to a close, I'm looking for a new show to watch. So in this video, I figured it would be fun to take a look at 10 shows that I want to see that I haven't yet seen. There are two on this list that I am kind of like watching. I'm only a couple episodes into them, so I can't necessarily say that I've like seen these shows. So I'm going to keep those on this list. But with that out of the way, if you like the sound of that, make sure you hit the like button on this video and let's jump right in. So the first one that we have, I think this is probably the biggest one on this list, but I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is if I make this list and you guys comment one of these and it gets the most likes that'll be the next show I watch okay so let's go off of that but the first one up I have for that running up is Succession now I've heard a lot about the show how it's based off of I think the Murdoch family um, the Rupert Murdoch family or something like that from Fox it's like a major media outlet I don't really know the premise but I've heard from a lot of people that this show is absolutely fantastic and one guy from from the movie The Big Short, which I don't even know his name, but he plays one of the main characters in it, and I loved him in The Big Short. I bet he's great here, and I've heard a lot of good things about that character. I don't even know his name. I don't even know if you know who I'm referring to, but just overall in general, I've heard the premise of the show is really good. It's all about a billionaire who's looking to find a successor out of his kids, and there's a lot of kids. The idea of that alone sounds good. It literally sounds like Game of Thrones, except in the modern era. era and not error I don't even know what I'm saying but I think that actually sounds like a really good premise if I'm being completely honest I've again I've heard nothing but incredible things and I think it would be worthwhile to just check out and then number two on this list is one that I am checking out I am three maybe four episodes in now and it's you know it is a short series so I'm almost halfway done but I still want to include it on this list because I haven't fully seen it yet and that's House of the Dragon now I got to tell you I've been absolutely loving House of the Dragon so far, which is absolutely surprising because I shit on it a lot. I, there's no reason that it should be on this list, but it is. But here's the thing. The more I've heard about it, the more I've seen clips of it, and the more I've gotten to understand the premise and how it has a full conclusive story, the more I'm okay with it. And I got to tell you, so far, they're doing an amazing job, but I don't want to fall into the trap because Game of Thrones really stained me. I don't want to fall into the trap of thinking this show will like forever be good. I definitely don't think that's the case, but you know, one could hope and all of that stuff, right? So yeah, House of the Dragon is off to a great start, but I can't wait to see the rest of it. It has a similar premise, honestly, in theory to Succession. It's about a king, a, the richest person in the land who's trying to pick his successor. It's the same exact story if you think about it just in medieval times. Now I'm wondering like, that's kind of weird that they're both airing at the same time. It's like two of the exact same ideas. Whatever. That's a whole other thing. But anyway, number three on this list is The Sopranos. I know. For an Italian like me, pretty Italian like me, um, I don't know how I've never seen this one, to be completely honest with you. But I will say I have tried to watch this one so many times, especially because I've seen Boardwalk Empire and it has a lot of the same people, the lot, a lot of the same crew, I should say, from Boardwalk Empire made The Sopranos. And I've heard from everyone on planet Earth that they're, they're all like, Jerry, you have to see this show. And I just, you know, I've tried to watch it. I've watched the first season a couple times and I didn't care for it. Like it didn't, it didn't hook me. And I know people have said that about Breaking Bad and I'm like, oh, you don't know what you're missing. And I know people have said that about other shows like Game of Thrones and things like that. And I'm always like to those people, you don't know what you're missing. But I get it. I'm that guy for this show. I haven't seen it yet. And I know apparently there's a lot that I'm missing. But here's the thing. I've seen a lot of the episodes, whether it's from clips or online, whether it's the ending that I've watched with my friends because I've heard about it, and I don't really care for spoilers, to be honest with you. Like, it, it, that, that doesn't bother me. But I've seen episodes like The Pine Barrens. I've seen other things. I don't feel the need to watch the show fully through. I really don't. I feel like I've seen a lot of it just from clips, from people talking and things like that, and I get the idea. But 
I know I need to see it. Like, I know I need to see it from start to finish because I'm judging this show hard based on only a couple factors that I haven't seen. And mind you, I think the ending was fantastic. I actually like what they did with the ending, but I don't know what led to the ending. I don't know what led to episodes like the Pine Barrens. I don't know what led to, um, I can't say the death, but a girl's death that I can't say. But like, I, I don't know how those things play out. I know who dies in the show, but I don't know how they play out. So I would love to see it for that reason. But it's just, honestly, it's just bored me every time I've went to go see it. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. That's how I feel about The Sopranos. Shoot me. I know. I know. It's pretty bad. Whatever. Anyway, the next up on this list, this is number four, and it's Chernobyl. Now, after seeing The Last of Us, I'm really starting to get on board with the idea of the premise of Chernobyl. I forget which one it is. I think Neil, I, no, Neil Druckmann's the show, the, the game guy, I think, right? Uh, Craig Mazin is the one who made Chernobyl. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I think that's the correct order. I think it was Craig Mazin. Regardless, which whichever one of them did it, I know they did Chernobyl. And because of that, now I just want to see it. And it's a limited series. So especially more than ever, I do want to see it for that. I know it's short. I know it's like short, sweet to the point, yada, yada. So I do want to see it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I think that may, if I don't get any recommendations in the comments, I might make that the next one because that's an easy one to accomplish on this list compared to the others. But yeah, the premise seems cool. Obviously, it's based on realistic events, just fictionized and things like that. Fic ficticized, fictitiously. I don't know the word. <laughs> I don't know the word I'm looking for. You get the point. But it's a fictitious story kind of of what happened in Chernobyl from what I understand. I could be wrong about that. But I've heard a lot of good things about this one too. Just haven't gotten around to seeing it. Maybe if I don't get, again, if I don't get any good recommendations in the comments, I think I'm going to watch this one. But anyway, the next one up is Yellowstone. So number five is Yellowstone. And yeah, my parents love this show. My aunts and uncles love this show. People around the office where I work are like, Jerry, have you seen like, Yellowstone yet? And, uh, no, I haven't. I've watched clips of it with my parents downstairs, like when they're watching it or something like that. And I had never really like caught my interest to be like, I'm going to watch it now. But I've always said, and I'm still holding to it. I will get to it. This is a show I will get to. I don't know, and especially knowing that they are getting rid of, um, I forget the main actor's name who's in it, Kevin Costner, the guy who Saul Goodman is supposed to be. Anyway, Kevin Costner is apparently leaving the show, he got fired or something, and apparently there's talks of him being replaced with Matthew McConaughey. I kind of want to wait to see how that plays out. I'm not in a rush to see this show, but I have heard extensively that it's fantastic. I've heard from a lot of people this is like their favorite show of all time, which kind of surprises me. The premise just seems boring to me. I've never been a big fan of Westerns, but then again, I've said that and I've seen Django Unchained and been like, wow, that was the best movie I've ever seen. Maybe it's not actually the best movie I've ever seen, but you get the point. So I'm probably judging the book a little too hard by its cover and even the clips I've seen, I was just like, eh, it seemed a little underwhelming to me to be completely honest, but I'll give it a whirl at some point. I'll give it a go. I just, I don't know. Nothing is like pulling me to go see it now. I'd rather see like pretty much any show on this list before that. Maybe that's a crazy opinion, but it's true. Now, the next one up on this list, number six, is one that I know apparently from everyone that the ending was a major disappointment, but everything before the ending was really good. Kind of similar to like a Game of Thrones, but just a little differently. And that's Dexter. Now, again, it's a mixed bag. I've heard the show is just mid. I've heard this show was spectacular, except for the ending. And I've heard this show just straight up sucks. But the premise for it absolutely compels me. I've watched the first episode, but I watched it when I was so young that I was like, ooh, that's gross. I don't want to see this again. So I stopped watching. And then I never went back to it. And there's really no reason for that because it's a show that I could easily pick up. I just haven't gotten around to doing it and I will get around to doing it. Really want to see this one. The idea of a killer killing killers is pretty awesome. It's it's like a vigilante story. I don't know if that's at all where it goes, but yeah, the idea of that alone just sounds interesting enough for me to see. I do want to actually pick this up and watch it. One day I will. But the next one up on this list, I think it's, yeah, it's number seven on my list. That I'm looking at a list right down there. Number seven is Mad Men. So if Breaking Bad wasn't the series that debuted uh, AMC to like the spotlight, it was Mad Men. Everyone knows this. This is like common knowledge. And I 
fucking love John Hamm. I think everyone on the planet fucking loves John Hamm. He's just classic. He's a great actor. But anyway, John Hamm apparently is fantastic in this. The premise for it sounds amazing. This is the one I think I know the least about. I know it's like business executives in the 60s, but that's it. And apparently it's amazing. Sorry if you heard my text, but apparently it's amazing. I gotta say it. I don't know much else about it, so I am going to make this a little bit short and sweet, because that's all I really know about it, to be completely honest with you. But next up on the list is number eight, and it's Lost. Now, again, this is the other one that I have seen. I've seen parts of Lost. I've seen the first two, the first one and a half seasons of Lost, and that's about it, and the first season was spectacular, but then kind of like, when you, you know when you get bored in a book, so you just put it down and then you never get back to it, that's exactly what happened to me with Lost, and unfortunately, and I'm going to give major spoilers for Lost right now because it's like 10 years old, but after I stopped watching, I did go to YouTube and look up Saeed's death. I looked up Charlie's death and things like that. So I know some of the characters who have died. I've seen the ending play out, but I heard the show got like super kooky in one of the later seasons. I don't even know how many seasons the show has anymore, but I heard it got like super kooky and kind of like lost its way towards the end. And I could kind of see that because it started to get that way in season two, which is I think why I really stopped watching. And it wasn't that season two was bad. It was just just that I I don't know they went a little too far on some of the characters backstories and I didn't really love that premise that much so I gave up but there was a couple compelling moments that pulled me in Saeed is a character that pulled me in Charlie was a character that pulled me in the main guy which is ridiculous that I'm forgetting his name he pulled me in there was a lot there to love. I want to finish it, is all I'm saying. I don't think it's going to be like a masterpiece, but you got to remember, this is the show that kind of like started shows. This is the show that really made long series dramas a smash hit, and I give it a lot of credit for that, but I haven't fully seen it, so I sound like an absolute hypocrite. Um, so I got to see it. That's the bottom line. I have to see the show, and I will. I will eventually. I'll finish it. And then up next, number nine is Wednesday. And yeah, this is the only like teen one on the list. I don't really watch teen shows. The only other one that I do see or have seen, I should say, is Outer Banks. Um, but I have heard from everyone that Wednesday is worth the watch. It's just fun from what I've seen. Jenna Ortega seems like she's great at the part. I want to see it. Um... I don't really know much about the Adams Family, to be honest with you. I've never fully seen Adams Family stuff, so this will be <laughs> really like the first time of me experiencing it, and I feel like there's no better way to do it than Wednesday, and I love Tim Burton stuff. Other than that, I don't really know much else about this one, so that's kind of it. Um, and then the last one, unfortunately, number 10 is a little underwhelming. I wish it was a little bit better, but it's the West Wing. I don't know why. I, I Honestly, I don't know why, but the idea for this show has always just like been interesting to me. And I've seen other shows that are a little stale, like The Wire and... Um, Another one that was just on the tip of my tongue and now I totally forget, so I'm just going to move past it. But I've seen slower shows like that. Oh, House of Cards. I've seen things like that, and I know they're like a little bit slower, but they're political dramas and things like that. And I feel like this is along that suit, and I've heard a lot of amazing things. I've heard Martin Sheen is just great in it. And may I say, for a while I thought Martin Sheen was Charlie Sheen's dad. Apparently it's his brother. Like, what space-time continuum am I in? I have no idea how I didn't know that. It's kind of ridiculous, but I didn't. But anyway, I've heard Martin Sheen does a fantastic job in this show. I know there's a lot of great actors in it, and I know the premise is really cool. I just don't know everything about it, but I do want to see it. It's always been one of those shows that I was like, oh, I'm going to get to that eventually. And I just haven't got to it eventually. So I am going to get to it eventually. And yeah. Eventually, I hope to see you in the comments letting me know which one of these you'd like me to see first, and I hope to see you down there. Let's start a healthy discussion, and with that out of the way, thank you so much again for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like rating and subscribe. If you want to stay up to date with any one of these shows that I will eventually be covering on this channel or any of the other shows that I watch, I'm watching The Walking Dead, all of those spinoffs, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, yada, yada, yada. I can't think of the others off the top of my head. Go to the channel you'll find them and with that out of the way thanks again so much for watching this video and until the next one i'll talk to you later peace out